Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a project pan update. This one is the Advent Calendar Project Pan. This was created by Elaine and there I have a bunch of gals doing this one right now. Just search the hashtag. I will have that below. And the premise is that we want to spread the joy of opening an Advent Calendar throughout the year. Everyone kind of interprets their projects their own way. The way I did it is I had an unopened advent calendar that I got from Ulta a couple of years back. I felt it was too old to give it to somebody in good conscience, so I opened it and I was using this one for my project, trying to finish all the projects in it before the end of the project. If that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. If you've been following my progress, then you know that this is basically a prop now because I have opened all the boxes and finished up many of the products and I'm working on a few more. There's nothing left in here. I just keep it to remind myself to keep using it and maybe I will use it for a project in the future and just put new products in there. Throughout the project, I did work on four products at a time and I did it rolling style. So whenever I finished something, I rolled in something new. I have been working on the last four products in the project and I have some good progress on some of them and some embarrassingly small progress on some others. So let's just get on into my progress. So the first product is the liquid eyeshadow that I have been working on for quite a few months now it feels like. And this one is one of the embarrassingly small progress ones in that I have made no progress. I have not used it at all. It's still the same amount. I mean there's a lot of windowing in there so I made some good progress at some point. But nothing new, I have not used it. I'm probably gonna just start trying to use this as a liquid highlighter, maybe under my foundation so that I can blend it in and just give me that kind of glow underneath because I don't know, I'm just not reaching for this. I forget this. this thing exists until the update for this project comes along and I'm like, oops, I didn't use it again. So I think I'm gonna try to start thinking of this as a liquid highlighter because when I do that, I tend to use up products pretty well. But We'll just keep trying, I guess. Product number two is one that I'm actually quite proud of the progress with this one. Even though I didn't use it all that much, the progress is quite visible and satisfying. It is the matte bronzer. I'll show you how it's been looking so far in the project. And here's what we're looking like now. I used it an additional five times from the last update and as you can see it is completely empty so that is another product completely finished in this project so we're going from impressive and satisfying progress to minimal progress with the third product and that is the red eyeshadow that i have been working on or at least supposedly i've been working on it i'm not going to show you the progress pictures because there's not really anything to show it looks the same as it did before i used it one more time this is what we look like i am really hoping that once the fall really comes in i will start using this eyeshadow more i will be able to combine it with whatever the fall palettes are that i am playing with and hopefully i will start using it as a blush because whenever i have been like fantasizing about using it as a blush it does sheer out and make a very beautiful blush color so maybe we'll use it that way but it is three grams of product so even as a blush it will be very challenging to finish I don't know if this thing is going to be finished by the end of the project but we're going to give it a, at least a nominal attempt and product number four is the very final product in the advent calendar and it is the blush duo it came into the project brand new last time and it has two little pans in it one is a matte one's a shimmer I'll show you what it looked like last time and I'm actually a bit proud of how this one is looking as well. So here you go. You can see that the shimmer blush is practically gone. And I kind of think that we had a bit of a spoiler for that whenever I pulled it out last time. Because whenever I was trying to swatch it, it like flaked out of the pan. When I saw that these were wearing away so unevenly, I did start counting them separately. I did use this one 29 times, this one 28 times. I suspect this one will be completely done by the next update, but this one here will probably be sticking around for a good long time yet. Even though I do like this color, it is a beautiful peachy kind of blush there. So I think that will be very versatile and I'll be able to use it, but I don't know if I'll be able to finish it because it is a blush and it's one and a half grams of blush. Maybe we'll finish that one by the end of the project, but who knows. So I have one empty and three products left, though technically you might call it four because this one is a duo. I think I'll be able to finish the shimmer blush here. And then these other ones, the blush, matte blush, the shimmer eyeshadow, and this liquid eyeshadow. 
we're just gonna have to see. Hopefully I'll remember that they exist and get some actual progress on them so that I don't have a disappointing update for you guys next time. Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits, and I hope I see you guys in the next one.